What is up my original bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and basically my thoughts. So overall this game I really really enjoyed and Treyarch are actually asking people for feedback on their Twitter as well which is a great thing to see because we did not see this with Modern Warfare and Infinity Ward. So we'll first talk about the things I personally liked in the alpha, then we'll move basically on to the dislikes or things that I could see potentially change. So the first thing I liked about Black Ops Cold War was the maps. Now the maps, the three maps I mainly played were Moscow and Satellite, which I thought was decent. Miami was, it was okay. But it was more for snipers now if i had a choice i wouldn't have played it i would have played either satellite or moscow and satellite was by far my favorite out of the maps that i played six versus six as far as the gameplay and the movement mechanics i really really enjoyed the gunplay and the time to kill was good the gunsmith slash creator class was a nice clean refreshing system now I know I just listed off things that I like about the game, for example the movement was great, I think fine tuning the slide is a must and this has already been done slash dealt with or been dealt with uh, with Treyarch and they said the way the guns felt was really really smooth and I didn't enjoy Gunsmith in Modern Warfare and I didn't like the kind of pros and cons system that was in the Modern Warfare Gunsmith. But in Black Ops Cold War, they took this and made it even better. Now I gotta say, I'm not a fan of it. But I gotta say, I am a fan of it now. Create a class also looked to be in a nice working order as well. And I kind of do wish it was kind of the pick 10 system. But that's just me. I just like it. I think it was revolutionary at the time in Black Ops 2. And I personally just loved Black Ops 2. Now for things I didn't like. Of course I didn't like was skill based matchmaking. Which I already made a video on. Combined arms. Now this game mode just felt weird for a COD game. And it was ground war but felt kind of bigger. The spawning system in set game mode was just dumb. Dumb as in, why wouldn't I spawn in a flag we held or spawn on a teammate to get back into the action? Instead, we spawned in the back of our spawn, which was just... It wasn't great. It really, really wasn't great. Player count. I think most or this should be put up to bigger numbers for the likes of Ground War. Now, another thing was the vehicles. I don't really like like it how tanks were just super overpowered in combined arms i personally am not a ground war player so i personally did not like it now before i talk about miami i just want to say miami looks wise miami looked incredible like i would have loved to been able to go back in time and if this was what miami looked like i would be amazed however i don't like this map because there's no flow it's too big and it was just more campy and more just snipe it could easily be a 10 versus 10 map or if you could cut, cut it simply in half it could potentially be a very good map we also need to have some smaller maps the likes of rust and the iconic black Ops series map nuketown which we know is already coming back or something just bigger than nuketown just a small bit bigger than nuketown not too much attachments need to be better because i was mainly using the same attachments on every gun now motion blur was in modern warfare and it was absolutely terrible it is also in and going to be in the full game but i turned this off but it kept on going back on near enough after every game or even going into a game which was annoying i know it was an alpha but that could easily change as well another thing was people shooting you if they maybe had a few shots you didn't know where you were being shot from or being shot at this needs to change 
they have had to add something like tracers to bullets because it's just stupid like i want to see where these bullets are coming from so i can basically ego challenge them or even just go and hide because i could have easily hid behind something but the person's just right in, right there behind me instead of oh shit i thought i got shot in the back or oh i thought i got shot in the front when he was in the back that kind of stuff now on score streaks the one thing that i used was napalm strike there was actually no indicator on the mini map telling you that a napalm strike was coming in and where it was going to be because it could have been where you were and you didn't know and you could have been shooting somebody and it would have just completely shook your screen just again on score streaks i think that the objective plays should be done better because instead of having people going on kill streaks for streaks they need to encourage people more to go and play the objective maybe have objective plays counts as a two time multiplier two or something like that so if it's 50 points to capture a flag and then make it a hundred multiplier or multiply it by two if this person is on a score streak to get these streaks faster now overall I just want to say that I really really like this game. I like the help bars and everything like that. I thought it was a great great alpha. Of course you know alphas they're a small build. They're not going to have the kind of infrastructure that a, a full release game or even a beta will have. So of course there was going to be tons of glitches. A ton of bugs on the main screen and everything like that. I don't like how it was freezing a lot. In the beta this cannot really happen because this will deteriorate or not deteriorate but people won't go to the game it'll tell them well look if this is happening in the beta this could easily happen in the main game itself as well but overall i like this game i liked it so so much that i would potentially say that this game if not with skill based matchmaking will be an incredibly incredibly good game but, you know, this is just my opinions. Once I see the beta and play it more, play with other guns as well, I hope to be able to give more of a better uh, kind of opinion. As of now, I really like the game if skill-based matchmaking isn't in the casual play. If skill-based matchmaking is in the casual play, I will not like this game. If it is not, this game will be great. But this is the end of the video guys, I hope you did like it, if you did please hit the like button, right beside the like button is the subscribe button that you can hit to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Beside that is also the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever I upload a video to my YouTube channel or whenever I go live on my YouTube channel. Which is rare, speaking of live streams, I tend to live stream on my Twitch account, link to that will be down in the description below. Once you're there you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live. I also have a Twitter account that I manually update whenever I upload a video to my YouTube channel or whenever I go live on my Twitch channel. Link to that will be down in the description below as well. And yeah, that's it guys. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe and peace.